The pyramids have baffled researchers for many years now, and it's not just the ones at Giza. All over the world our ancestors built these giant structures and for years now we've had no idea why. Why did so many civilizations build the same structures all over the planet? Is it a coincidence? There's over 180 pyramids in Egypt alone, and over a thousand pyramids in Central America. One question that many have asked is why were these megaliths built? One theory was that they were constructed for the elite during their time. For example, pharaohs and kings. However, the sheer size, precision and manpower required to build such a colossal structure is nearly impossible even in the modern era. Which makes it all the more mysterious that an ancient culture such as one of the first civilizations ever to arise had the engineering capacity and means to create the massive pyramids at Giza. For a reference to the size of the pyramids, each block of the colossal structure weighs roughly 2.5 metric tons, with over 2.3 million blocks making up the entirety of the structure. Not only did this require 315 blocks to be moved in place each day for the next 20 years, but to accomplish such a building scale of delivering the large stones and moving them into place every day would be a near impossible feat. One theory however has been put forward for why so many of these structures exist, and the theory suggests that all of the pyramids that have ever been built are linked. A physicist from Ukraine has said that he's been curious about these giant structures for many years now. With help from the Russian government he built a giant 140 foot pyramid outside of Moscow, and the physicist said the results from this test could change the world. The test showed the following that changed in the region around and inside the pyramid. The regeneration of tissue would happen at a much faster rate, and the immune system of humans and other organisms improved. Seismic activity in the region of the pyramid decreased. This was the same for the weather. Harsh conditions were nowhere near as bad when compared to other areas. 5,000 prisoners were fed food that was stored inside the pyramid. The study showed the violence rate had greatly reduced and their behaviour had improved. Radioactive materials showed a decrease in radiation levels when inside the pyramid, and one of the strangest was that if water was placed inside the pyramid, it would remain a liquid up to minus 40 degrees. However, if the water was moved slightly, it would instantly freeze. So the theory is these pyramids are actually more than just structures. They literally change the people and environment around them, and it's now thought this is the main reason why they were created. So what do you guys make of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.